In this video, I'll show you how to place an image onto a curved surface. The effect is realistic and surprisingly easy to do. I'm using Affinity Photo 2.1. Here's an image of a plain cup. I'll decorate it with a photo of a tree. To load the tree photo, I'll select Place from the File menu. Now I'll just click on the cup to place the image. I'll resize it and position it to about where I want it to be on the cup. I'll reduce its opacity so I can see the cup behind it. This will make it easier to mold the image onto the cup later. About 50% opacity will do. I'll be using the Mesh Warp tool. There's also a Mesh Warp Live filter, which offers a non-destructive approach, and a Mesh Warp filter. The Mesh Warp Live filter can be accessed by clicking on the Live Filters icon at the bottom of the Layers panel and selecting Mesh Warp from the menu. And the Mesh Warp filter can be accessed by selecting Distort from the Filters menu and then Mesh Warp down at the bottom. They all work virtually the same. The advantage of the live filter version is that it's non-destructive and you can easily go back and adjust it at any time. But I find it to be buggy in Affinity Photo 2.1 for Mac, so I won't be using it. Since it's the tree image that will be placed onto the cup, that's the image the Mesh Warp tool will be applied to. First I'll rasterize the tree image layer to convert it to pixels. Affinity Photo will do this for you if you forget, so this step can be skipped. Making sure the tree image layer is selected, I'll choose Rasterize from the Layer menu. Now I'll select the Mesh Warp tool. The tree image has been surrounded by a white rectangle or mesh with square nodes at each corner. I'll use these nodes to mold the tree image to the cup. You can also grab the mesh at any point to mold the image. And you can double click anywhere to add a node. I'll undo all that by pressing Command Z or Control Z in Windows and click the Reset button up here on the toolbar to reset the mesh rectangle. I'll zoom in a little by pressing Command Plus or Control Plus in Windows. First the top right corner node. I'll grab it with the mouse and position it at the top right corner of the cup. And now the upper left node. As I'm moving the nodes, I'll keep an eye on the image to minimize any distortion. And now the two bottom corner nodes. I'll position them right on the bottom edges of the cup. I want to fit the image onto the cup as precisely as possible. Again, I'll keep an eye on the image to minimize any distortion. I'll click the Hide Mesh button on the toolbar to get a better view. The image looks like it's fitted onto the cup pretty well, so I'll click the Show Mesh button on the toolbar to bring back the mesh rectangle. Now I need to mold the tree image so it looks like it's painted onto the cup. I'll click on the upper right node with the mouse. Notice these two handles. They're called curvature handles. I'll use them to mold the tree image to the shape of the cup. I'll grab this curvature handle and pull it down. Again, I'll keep an eye on the tree to correct any distortion that might occur. Now I'll do the same with the upper left node. I'll make some more adjustments to get it just right. If you make a mistake, you can press Command Z or Control Z in Windows to undo it. Now the bottom right node.
If the curvature handles are not there or disappear, just click on the node to show them. And the bottom left. Now I'll adjust the bottom. I'll hide the mesh to see how it looks. Everything looks fine, so I'll zoom back out by pressing Command-0 or Control-0 in Windows. I'll click the Apply button on the upper left to commit the changes. I'll increase the tree image layer's opacity to 100%. It looks alright, but I'll try changing the blend mode to see if I can find something better. Darker color looks good, so I'll leave it there. There's a sharp edge around the rim of the cup that doesn't look natural. I'll try brightening that area up so it blends into the whiteness of the cup. I'll add a curves adjustment by clicking the adjustments icon down here. I want to adjust the tree image only, so I'll make the curves adjustment a child of the tree image layer. I'll drag the Curves Adjustment layer with the mouse over the Tree Image layer until it's entirely highlighted and release it. I'll change the Blend Mode to Luminosity to avoid affecting the color. I'll raise the highlights. That did the trick, but the rest of the image is too bright, so I'll bring the mid-tones back down and bring up the shadows. I'll add an HSL adjustment to enhance the colors a bit. I'll slightly increase saturation. And that's it. Mesh Warp is an easy tool to use with realistic effects. Very impressive indeed. Thank you for watching.